Um, I would say, women's women the, the women's football, like I say, the structure is very similar in some ways to the, to the men's structure. But what you tend to find with women's football, certainly beneath the WSL, uh, the WSL tier, and I, I'd actually say WSL one. Once you get beneath that, organic growth. Organic growth in the women's game is absolutely massive. So by that I mean take Derby County ladies. You know, we are one tier beneath WSL2. Our first team currently, um, two thirds, but 67% of our first team players have come up through the ranks of our club. Um, that may well be something that changes as the game evolves, but we, we believe that, it, that, that, that getting that part of it is absolutely critical, getting that part of it right. So for us, um, the pathway starts at 10 years old um, and we have core philosophies that we have ingrained into our club in terms of the way we do things, um, where we play our football. Um, we have that throughout the spine all the way up to the first team. So we're quite privileged in that regard. Um, some might say that's kind of a long-term view but we think it's actually a, a critical part of it. So I think the talent's there. What will, what has tended to happen historically is that clubs just grow their own or tend to grow their own and then reap the rewards of that. I think as the game has evolved and there's more money, wherever there's money involved, then the cream of any crop, the chances are that that will get picked off. So I think if you're looking at it from the other direction, so coming in from the top end, as you alluded to at the start, the talent, I believe, is there, um, and I think that the, the, the kind of size of that crop is going to be something that grows. Um, like I say, ultimately, players players will, 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 will leave clubs that perhaps five years ago they would have stayed at, if, if that makes sense. Yeah.